Josh Bell is a perfect example of if you keep running the race and if you have the right mindset, you're going to eventually run into the right people with the same exact mindset, doing the same exact thing as you, and you'll be able to network and come together and make something that's greater than the sum of your parts alone. It is so important that you keep running on the path to success so that you can find the people who are meant to be running the same race as you. I'm not sure if any of you are familiar with the show, but I love the show called Zatch Bell. It's an older anime that used to air on the Toonami block on Cartoon Network. It's a really, really important relic of my childhood. And honestly, I could not have made it throughout my childhood if I didn't have Zatch Bell. It's a show about 100 demon children who come from the Momoto world, and they have to find these partners, these singular partners, who can read their spell books, and they can, like, cast lightning bolts from their mouth and produce these huge, amazing shields and, like, do illusion spells and, like, all this amazing magical stuff. Imagine if they gave up on finding their partner. Imagine if they gave up on winning the Momoto games. Imagine if they gave up on finding the teammates who would lead them to become the demon king, who would lead them to the ultimate power, to being the ruler of the entire demon Momoto world. Imagine if they gave up. Imagine if you gave up. Imagine if you stopped trying. Imagine if you said one day, this dream, this goal, what I've been working towards, it's not really worth it. I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna give up. And you're so close to finding the people who are in the same race as you. The people who are running the same marathon, the people who are in the same triathlon, the people who want to see you succeed just as much as you want to see yourself succeed. We get so in our head and we think that, oh my gosh, like they're gonna wanna burn my spell book. Oh my gosh, like these people don't really care about me. Oh my gosh, these people are just here to like see my demise. No, there are people out there who want to help, who want to support. When we first meet Keo, he's this like super smart, super able student, but he has no friends. He's isolated from the people in his class and he feels like they're all stupid and they don't matter. But then Zatch like literally bursts through his window and changes his life, leading him to meet Megumi and Fulgore and Lian and Wanrei and Kef Sunbeam and like all these amazing characters who like come into their life and teach them all these amazing things about what life truly has to offer us. Imagine if Keo said, I don't want it. Imagine if Keo didn't take Zatch's offer to be his perfect spell book owner, partner, lover. Oh, they were not lovers. That was another storyline in the show, actually. Maybe I should discuss the ethics of Wan Rain Lian's relationship, because it had me very confused as a child. Anyways, imagine if Keo said, no, like, Kalulu's book burning and her like returning to the world, the demon world all sadly, that meant nothing. Nobody really cares. Moving on to the next one, Diva. Imagine if Keo had that mindset. Instead, Keo said, Zatch has a purpose and my purpose is to help Zatch to become the demon king. And so we have to find people who have the same mindset as Zatch, as me, so that we can make the demon world a better place. You need to go out there and you need to do the exact same thing, diva! You need to go find the people who have the same mindset as you. If that means you have to move, move. All over the places that fell. Girl, they were in Europe, they were in the ravines, they were visiting like all over the country, they were in Italy, because Fulgore is like an Italian pop star, this thing was about like groping women. There were so many places they went to. They didn't just stay in Japan. Like the people that they wanted weren't just in Japan. You have to go out there and you have to find these people because I promise you they exist. They're there. They're literally waiting for you like an NPC, like a sim, waiting for you to come up and say, I have this mindset. I want to see this happen in the world. What do you think about that? And then they're going to say, wow, I also think that's a really cool idea. How can we work on this together? I have these skills. You have these skills. Let's put our skills together and we can make an amazing skill, baby, that changes the world. And I don't be out here making babies with just anybody. Because I know some of y'all. And what's amazing is that once you find that first person, you will be amazed how quickly that network expands. How quickly you find more and more of these people who have the exact same mindset as you, who have the exact same wants and needs and, and yearnings and things that you really want to see in the world. You just have to be there. You just have to show up. I'll be honest with you, 
that is the hardest part. I'll be so real, turning on the camera and recording this video was so difficult for me because I was gonna say, oh my gosh, like who cares about a Zach Bell video? Girl, that's like so 2000, like what, four, 2005? It's 2024, ain't nobody talking about Zach Bell no more. But what if I gave up? What if I didn't put this video out, video out and I didn't find you watching this video and you didn't say, oh my gosh, somebody else thinks about like TV shows like this? Somebody else thinks about the morals and the themes of these TV shows just like me? Somebody else has this like nerdy, crazy, nostalgic brain just like me? Girl? And as the numbers in the Momoto games, the Demon games, the Battle for Demon King, whatever you want to call it, began to dwindle and more and more spell books got burned and Keo and Zash were able to find more and more allies. There were more and more people who had the same mindset as Zatch. And those people were able to band together and all of a sudden the big bad evil force of Zophis and Brago and like all those people, they weren't really that big and that bad because they had teamwork. They had friendship, they had allies, they had a network that they could depend on. It wasn't just Zatch trying to figure it out on his freaking own. It was Zatch and Megumi and Tia and Ponygon and Fulgore and Rudio. Yeah, the weird ice Ponygon that came later on. Rhea and Ashley and Cherish and Nicole and like all these people who came and like Ted. Okay, I'm just listening to characters now. You get the point. So many people who just like showed up and made it happen. And spoiler alert, Zatch ends up winning and he becomes a kind, benevolent king and becomes the kind of person he always wanted to be. But he wasn't able to do it alone. And you won't be able to do it alone either. I can't do it alone. No one in this world can do what they want alone. We have to depend on each other. And that's hard and that's scary. But it's so necessary. And if you feel like it was necessary for you to find this video, Go ahead and give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe if you feel like it. Everything helps. Thanks, friend. And once Zatch and Keo found all of their allies, they were able to unlock so many new powers. The power of Bao, which is like god level, like anime power in the Zatch Bell world. It's like the Sharingan of the Zatch Bell world, right? It's like this like crazy, ridiculous power. Zatch gets the power to like shoot a giant electric dragon from his mouth because of the power of friendship. So, if you wanna open up that business, if you wanna lose that weight, if you wanna become a better person, a better writer, a better public speaker, better actor, better dancer, better performer, better mom, better dad, better sister, better brother, you're gonna have to use your resources. You can't do it alone. You're not gonna unlock your true potential just by sitting around and doing it on your own. You have to go out and ask people. You have to go out and read the resources. You have to learn from the people who came before you. That is all so, 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 so important. We are led today to think that society is so individualistic that we have to do it all on our own. No, no, please don't do it on your own. You're just making it so much harder and so much more prone to burnout when you do it like that. Don't burn your own spell book trying to do it all alone. Depend on others, depend on your friends, depend on your family, if you can. Depend on the people who are close in your circle. Depend on the people who want to see you succeed. I promise you they exist. I promise you they're out there. Even if you look around and you're like, oh, nobody cares, nobody cares like I do. That means you need to expand that network. That means you need to look farther. That means you need to go even deeper. Because it's out there. They're out there. You have to believe it. Naruto, believe it! You have to believe it. So all I have to say is you have to keep running your race. You have to keep going, especially when things get tough, okay? It's getting tough now, but you're gonna look back at this day in a month, in three months, in six months, in a year, in 10 years, and say, I'm so glad that I took that step. Just like Zach and Keo said, I'm so glad that we became partners with Megumi. I'm so glad we met Kalulu. I'm so glad that all of these amazing people came in our lives and, and made us better people. And the same thing can happen for you, Diva. Just gotta believe it. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. And if no one else has told you this today, I know that your dreams are gonna come true. Until next time, friend. Bye.